Hey guys, welcome back to Geeky Greenhouse. Today I want to talk about some natural ways to deter rodents and deer from your garden. Whenever possible, we like to use natural methods for gardening, especially if it's stuff that we just have around the house anyways. Before I get into some of the household items that you can use to repel deer and rodents from your garden, I want to talk about the different types of repellents that there are. In addition to physical barriers, which are the most effective way to manage garden intruders, there are two types of repellents available, odor repellents and taste repellents. So odor repellents are also known as area repellents, and they repel rodents and deer from your garden by the use of scent and offensive odors. And just as the name implies, taste repellents repel rodents and deer from your garden by using an unfavorable taste. Taste repellents are also known as contact repellents. It's important to keep in mind that if you're using taste repellents in your garden, you may see some chewing damage before you see effectiveness. This is because the deer or rodents need to actually taste the product before they decide they don't like it. If you were to go to the store and purchase a commercial repellent, then it would be classified as either an odor repellent or a taste repellent. If you're looking for a commercial product that's really effective against deer, you definitely want to find something that has a high concentration of putrescent whole egg solids. Essentially, it's just rotten eggs, and it smells absolutely horrible, but it is very effective. We'll leave some links for recommended products below. So let's get into it. A few natural ways that you can deter rodents and deer from your garden. The first method I want to talk about is hot pepper powder. If you know us, we're the pepper geeks, and we always have an ample supply of hot pepper powder on hand. We grow hot peppers and we dehydrate them and make our own powder. Hot pepper powder works as a great deterrent for a variety of animals, including rabbits, chipmunks, squirrels, and deer. The reason that hot pepper powder works in the garden to deter rodents and deer is because of the capsaicin, which is the compound in hot pepper powder that makes it spicy. There have been lots of interesting studies about capsaicin use in the garden. Uh, one really interesting one was out of New Zealand, where they used capsaicin on bird's nests to repel predators from attacking the eggs. I'll leave a link to that study below if you want to nerd out and learn more about it. The easiest way to use hot pepper powder is using it in its powder form. You can sprinkle it around your garden beds or just use it to sprinkle around vulnerable plants. You can also make a hot pepper powder spray by steeping the powder in water. One thing to consider with making a hot pepper powder spray is that the spray bottle tends to clog, so you may want to steep the powder before using it. You can use a coffee filter or a fine mesh strainer to do this. If you're not making your own hot pepper powder, you can typically find it pretty inexpensive in bulk. Just look for any hot, spicy cayenne red pepper powder. You certainly don't want to buy the little McCormick spices and go through a whole bunch of those, as the price will certainly add up. It's also important to remember that if you're using the hot pepper powder in its powder form, you do need to reapply it after it rains. We do not use hot pepper powder as an insecticide. It's worth mentioning that the capsaicin can actually deter beneficial pollinators. If you plan on using hot pepper powder in your garden, be sure not to spray the flowers directly and do not use it while pollinators are active. The next natural method for deterring rodents and deer from your garden is human hair or dog fur. It may seem a little bit strange or gross to some, but the natural scent of human hair and animal fur works as a great deterrent for deer and rodents. And if you have a long-haired animal that you brush on a regular basis, why not save the fur and use it in your garden? There was an interesting study they did where they used human hair and blood meal to deter deer from apple trees in an orchard. The results showed that the human hair and blood meal were effective at deterring the deer, and I'll leave a link below if you want to read about it. The best way to use human hair or animal fur in the garden is to chop it up real fine and put it in a cheesecloth, or you can just use it as mulch and sprinkle it around your garden. And while we're on the topic of using human hair and dog fur in the garden, many gardeners do also use urine as a natural way to repel rodents and deer. However, I'm not including that on the list today because we're gonna save it for a future video because there's a lot to talk about. The next natural method that I wanna talk about is very effective against rabbits. So if you have rabbits munching on your greens, you may wanna consider using blood meal in your garden. Blood meal is commonly used in the garden as a high nitrogen fertilizer, and it is exactly how it sounds, it is derived from blood. Because the smell is associated with predators, it works as a simple animal repellent. 
Blood meal works best if you sprinkle it around the base of your plants in its dry form. However, you can also mix it with your human hair and hang it from a cheesecloth in your garden. It's very easy to find blood meal in garden centers and online. While physical exclusion and barrier fences are the most effective way at keeping rabbits out of your garden, blood meal does work very well, and the only issue is that you do need to reapply it after it rains. There is a product out there called Plant Skid that comes in a few different forms. I'll leave a link to that below. It's all natural and it's derived from blood, so it is effective against rabbits. Two things you may want to keep in mind is that blood meal is very stinky to us as humans as well. That's why it works as a natural animal repellent. You may also want to consider that blood meal is high in nitrogen if you're using it in your garden. One solution to avoid over-fertilizing with the high nitrogen blood meal is to put it in a container around the garden or suspend it above the soil. The next natural rodent deterrent I want to talk about is mint. Rodents hate the smell of mint and it works great as a natural deterrent in your garden. We actually use a natural rodent spray around our house a few times a year that's made of peppermint oil and rosemary oil and a few other ingredients. Keep in mind that mint is very invasive, so you might want to think twice about planting it directly in your garden. However, you can plant it in pots around the garden, or you can make a spray by using mint, chopping it up, and straining it the same way that you would use hot pepper powder. So you can use mint sprays that you buy online, or you can make your own at home. The last natural deterrent I want to talk about is garlic. To my knowledge, there haven't been many studies on using garlic in the garden as a natural rodent deterrent. It's more of a word-of-mouth, hand-me-down advice kind of knowledge. We do know people that use garlic in the garden and they swear by it and how well it works to keep their chipmunks, squirrels, and deer away. For using garlic in the garden, you would follow a similar approach as the hot pepper powder or the mint. So you could chop it up and steep it into a liquid and use it in a spray bottle, or you can chop up full cloves and sprinkle them around your garden beds. Like most of these natural methods, reapplication is necessary after rainfall. I do want to mention a few commonly used items in the garden that don't work so well for repelling rodents and deer. Many people use statues of predatory birds like owls, shiny objects, pinwheels, or objects that make noise in the garden. However, animals can become very accustomed to these, and while they make great decorative ornaments for your garden space, they're not very effective at repelling animals. So that's all for the natural ways to repel rodents and deer from your garden. If you have any methods that you've tried that work really well, please leave a comment below. We love learning new methods of keeping these guys at bay. Don't forget to subscribe to Geeky Greenhouse. We have a lot of fun and interesting content planned. So we'll see you next time.